Hi, this is Marcy from the International Women's Air and Space Museum. Thanks for your time, Christina. Hi, Marcy. Nice to be with you. Nice to be with you as well. Hey, uh, wondering uh, if you're going to be doing an ABA together with Anne McLean. Uh, this would, I'm guessing, be the first time there would be an all-female EVA crew. Uh, what are your thoughts about this uh, possibility and the impact that would have uh, on young girls? Absolutely. Well, um, it may very well be in the plans. There are three spacewalks planned for very soon after Nick and I and Alexi arrive to the space station. So obviously they to try to make sure that everyone has the adequate experience building up. Um, everyone is, you know, um, qualified to do a spacewalk and maybe assigned to one. So if I'm fortunate enough to do one at all, I'll be very excited to execute that mission. Uh, the work we're doing on those spacewalks is critical to upgrading the space station and keeping it running so it can be a great scientific laboratory. Um, and if I am in a position to inspire girls and women and in especially in technical fields or any women to pursue the things that they're passionate about and to do that with you know confidence and tenacity that's a position that would be a great honor for me excellent and uh you sound like you've been interested in the space flight since you were a young girl did you have a particular mentor as a girl who helped encourage your interest in the stem fields well, that's a great question. I grew up in a somewhat small town, so I didn't have many examples of people in technical fields really around me at all, not to mention um, women in those fields. So while I didn't necessarily have a, tech have a technical mentor, I did have a female mentor that taught me the value of hard work, and that was my grandmother. Um, my grandmother is a farmer in Michigan, and um, when we would visit in the summer times, basically the thing that was held in the highest regard was working hard and having that grit and doing what it took to get the job done. And that was really ingrained in me from the time I was very young. So I give a lot of credit to her for that. Awesome. And uh, speaking of your grit, uh, what did you learn about yourself uh, when you were living and working in an extreme environment like Antarctica? And how do you think that will help you when you get on the space station? Yeah, that's a great question. I think one of the things about living in remote places and sticking to the job is um, having perspective for the duration of the mission. So obviously the work we do in the day to day, we absolutely love, love science, love um, the maintenance, love keeping things running and um, science on the frontiers. Um, but what can sometimes um, keep you from being your most efficient self is just the, the duration of time, being in such a remote environment, maybe without your support structure. And so developing some um, strategies to remind yourself that um, that environment is actually a unique experience to be treasured while you have it. Um, and it just really helps to keep that perspective and to keep you focused on the mission at hand. And can you share any advice that you have gotten from any other women space station astronauts uh, in terms of your preparation for this flight? Absolutely. Well, um, in particular, my good friend, Anne McLean, who's also in my astronaut class, has been on board for a few months now. So we're in constant communication about some little things, you know, here and there about things to be prepared for. And also, you know, big conceptual things. One of the most interesting things that she did for me was the day that I left home. Um, that was the first time when it, it actually hit me what I was about to embark on. And she sent me a very well-timed email on that day and, and said, don't worry, what you're, what you're feeling is normal and it will probably pass and you'll be ready to, you know, be mission focused and excited um, about going to space. Um, soon enough. So, you know, swooping in like like a good friend and someone who I admire. Um, she's she's always been someone that I looked up to for both her skills um, and her grit as well. And to hear those words coming from her really meant meant a lot, especially um, with how well timed they were. Excellent. And what kind of general advice would you have for young girls who might be interested in a career in aerospace? Well, I would just say that um, the most important thing is to follow the things that you're passionate about. And um, in doing that, you not only guarantee that you are going to find success because you're automatically doing what you love, but you're also going to end up giving back to the world in the way that is um, most advantageous for everyone, for yourself and the world around you. So that's really number one for me. Find something that you love and go after it. Don't give up and have that grit to overcome the things that might come along the way and um, try to get you off your path. Thank you very much for your time, Christina. Have a great flight. Thank you.